All right, so this is an OBS overview. Um, if you have any questions, um, we'll be available to contact to, to get some of that answered. Um, but what we do is we use OBS to, it's called an encoder. So what this does is this basically sends um, information and different things to a service like YouTube or Facebook um, and lets you broadcast those things. But to be able to do that, you need to first download the OBS software. Um, Google search for OBS. When you go to the, the website here, depending on which operating system you're using, Windows or Mac, when you click the appropriate link, it will take you and begin downloading the program. Now I already have it downloaded, so I'll kind of skip over to OBS. Um, so this is OBS, basically what we have going on here. We have scenes in the bottom left, our sources here, um, and those will be what we are setting up to show different things. So let's set up one. I already have scene one. If you right click on that, you can rename. So maybe this is the Google Meet window. So this is Google Meet. My second scene will be my just my camera. We're going to set up both of these accordingly. So Google Meet, what I'll do, my scene is set up. Now I need a source. So where am I pulling that from? If I click on the plus sign in sources, I have lots and lots of different options. The one we're going to need to pull in a Google Meet will be a display capture. I'm going to display or capture my display. Okay. So display, I have two screens hooked up right now. So if I want this window or if I want the other one, that's what we'll have up. So I'll hit okay. So anything I do on this one, it's pulling in to my to my stream or my broadcast, but it's really pulling it into OBS that will then send to Facebook or YouTube. On the second source, I'm going to add my camera. So what we will do for that one is we will add a video capture device. The device will be my FaceTime camera, there I am. And all the rest of that, you usually don't have to worry about, about that stuff there. Um, since it doesn't fit, I will drag it to fit and I will then pull it kind of towards the middle. But as long as you're on the screen, that's perfectly fine. So now I have two different scenes set up. I'll use the transition to transition between the two. Um, I always have studio mode enabled. Um, studio mode gives you basically what's being sent and what's on deck to be sent. So I can pull up different scenes, different things and transition between the two. So uh, I'll show my face first. After that, I will transition back to maybe my Google Meet or a slideshow that I'm presenting. Easy enough. Um, you do also have the option to add multiple sources per scene. Um, we have, or what we normally do is we have the Warren County logo added on there to make it look kind of official. Maybe your school logo, if you want to put something else, maybe a title on there, you can do that as well. Um, right now, I don't have any audio going out, so I can see my audio mixer. My audio mixer is tied to what's being currently pushed out, but I don't have audio on either one of these scenes yet. So to add audio, I will click the plus sign in audio input capture. Um, but pretty much you're going to want to pull in, um, 
and this is a little bit complicated. I'm going to show you something after this, but your audio input capture as a microphone will pull in your voice. If there is audio coming from maybe Google Meet or a YouTube video or something from your screen, we're going to want to set this up a little bit differently. Um, I'm going to show you how to add it here and then I'll show you where to find it next. But audio input capture. Um, you can see here that I have Soundflower as a channel. Um, to get audio into OBS from maybe your computer, so your computer is making sound, but I don't want that computer to come or that audio to come through the computer and then into the microphone back to OBS. What you'll want to do is set up Soundflower. So now Soundflower is an option. Um, I can see that it's not pulling any audio in. I don't have anything playing from my computer yet but there are a couple different settings and different things you need to add first. So if you do not have Soundflower, it's a free download. I will include this link in the presentation as well. Um, but here it is, Soundflower, you'll download and install this, but that's not the only thing you're gonna have to do. Um, right now the output um, from my computer is going to uh, my speakers, my in external or my, my laptop speakers. So when I click on sound, and once Soundflower is installed all the way, this will be an option for you as well. Um, but the output is what we're looking for. Right now, internal speakers are my output. If I want audio to go to OBS, I will pick Soundflower Channel 2. And that's set up ready to go so that when I play a YouTube video, oops, instead of the sound coming out of my speakers, the sound will go out to Soundflower, which in OBS we have chosen as our, um, our sound audio input capture so we're going to listen to some classical music to my broadcast but this is what you'll want to do to pull in audio from a google meet as well so right now i currently don't hear anything out of my uh, my computer speakers because that's instead of coming through my internal speakers, it's actually going to Soundflower as um, a channel. But now I can see that my audio input capture, whatever's coming from my computer, that YouTube video is playing through OBS as any audio input capture here. So again, by double clicking, I can check my, my settings. So on my Google Meet, my audio input capture is set to Soundflower channel two, which is also what I set my audio output as as well now after obs and you're ready to go back and listen to things audio out of your computer you'll want to switch that back but soundflower channel 2 will pull in that audio to obs um a couple different things you can set up more scenes and and all of that if you are going to maybe have a couple different things set up. So my scene, my next scene will have a source of um, media source will be maybe a video that's on your computer. Um, we usually don't use browser source. The majority of what we use for this would be either video capture device for a camera or the display capture that is um, much like Screencastify, it's going to record what's on your screen. Uh, but there is the option to connect external cameras, video cameras, and do all sorts of different things with that. Uh, but this is enough for us right now. We have my camera so they can see you talking, and then I can transition. 
back and forth from my Google Meet back to my camera. Um, and maybe all you're going to have is just your Google Meet on the screen. Up to you, total preference. On, it just depends on what you're doing. Um, if you maybe need suggestions or how to, how do you do certain things, again, you can reach out, no problem.